The Internet is set to undergo a major transformation with the relaxation of the rules covering domain names. Thousands of new domain names will join the original .com tag. The Australian spearheading the Internet expansion says it will be like another gold rush. It's like opening up huge swathes of new real estate in the online world. This is the most significant change to the domain name system since its inception. It's going to have a long-term impact on the diversity and the range of the real estate that, of the internet that people are going to use for decades. Currently, websites end in one of 250 top-level domain names like .org, .au or .com. These changes will allow an infinite number of new suffixes like .shop, .car or .paris. And for the first time, domain names with non-Roman characters can be set up. We'll move from 37 Roman characters to over 100,000 characters that will be supported. And what does that really mean? It means that people in, in character-based languages, Northeast Asia, South Asia, Middle East, the Cyrillic part of the world, will be able to express their identity fully in their own character sets. The changes have been brought about because the internet is simply running out of space. The stock of available addresses is due to run out in three years. The World Authority on Domain Names, known as the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, or ICANN, decided on the changes at a meeting yesterday in France. An Australian domain registry service is already excited about the benefits. What we're saying to our clients is uh, if .com is the shopping mall of the internet and you walk through and you find the different shops, what we want to do is create uh, a Rodeo Drive, if you will, with flagship stores along the way and those stores are obviously easy to get to. Claiming a catchy suffix could come with a price. Fees for obtaining a new name are expected to exceed 100,000 Australian dollars. Internet users hope the changes will make it easier for them to set up their own websites. Ben, ça peut être intéressant si ça permet d'avoir un petit peu plus de souplesse et de, et de marge de manœuvre au niveau de la création des noms de domaines. But the newfound freedom could open up a minefield of conflict. ICANN says there'll be a review process for domain suffixes and anyone can object on such grounds as racism, trademark conflicts or similarity to an existing suffix. If two or more applicants want the same suffix, they'll be asked to find a settlement or there could be an auction. Rachel Baker, World News Australia.